what's up guys before the video starts i wanted to thank you guys for 400 subscribers guys we are 100 subscribers away from the big 500 and i'm hoping that we can get there soon thank you guys for the continuous support doing youtube has been a great experience but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video peace hey what's up guys welcome back to the pokemon scarlet and violet dlc today as you guys can see from the title we're going to be finding out what happens when you get 150 kitakami pokemon for perrin because my, my interest has been peaked ever since she told me to do that at first i didn't want to but then i realized i actually had a decent amount of kitakami pokemon i'm like you know what why not do it so i'm going to show you guys real quick how many pokemon i actually have so if i go to the kitakami pokedex i have 149 meaning i just need one more and I can collect that one more right now by evolving my Poliwhirl. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so if you give Poliwhirl a Water Stone, that should evolve him into Poliwrath. If I am correct, yep, he's evolving. And with that, this will be my 150th Pokemon from Kitakami. Meaning I can now talk to Perrin and see what she has to say. If I were to guess, it's probably going to be a battle and something involving pictures or something like that. Because you know she's a camera lady. But you know what? We got our 150th Pokemon, so let's head over, head over there right now and see what happens. Alright guys, so Perrin is over there. I have 150, so okay, yeah, her dialogue has changed. It, it says, hey, uh, hey kiddo now. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright Perrin, I've done it. I've gotten 150 Okay, she's just taking pictures. All right, what's up? Oh, hey, kiddo. Wait, don't tell me. Yep, I did it. You actually caught over 150 Pokemon from the Kitakami Pokedex? Well, 150 on the dot, to be specific. Now I know you're the real deal. That's right. Yep, I sure am. Pretty impressive. You must really be something special, kiddo. I, I guess so. You probably know more about the Pokemon here in Kitakami than I do. And I got here first. Maybe. Which reminds me, I've got a favor to ask you. See, a real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. Uh, what kind of favor? Ooh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem afraid to poke your head into new things. Yeah, I guess not. In that case, let me tell you what I'm all about. The reason I came here to Kitakami was actually to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So kiddo, how about doing me a solid by helping me with my search? I'd owe you forever. Hmm. Rumor has it that the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty ferociously strong. Just think, you could catch it and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? That enough to pique your interest? If so, I'll need you to prove you're strong enough to help. Hmm. If we're really going to partner up on this thing, then I want you to know you're cut out for it. That and I want to get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. Wait. So she wants us to... Wait, battle her? Hold on, let's talk to her again and see. Okay, what's up, Perrin? Okay, kiddo. Time for me to take a perfect shot at your confidence, that is. Ready to show me what you got? Yes. Okay, so we're taking uh, pictures. Yes, then let's... Put a bit of distance between us, enough to keep my shots in focus. Wait, she's gonna take pictures while we're in battle or something? I'm not so strong, but don't hold back and don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at it. Alright, bet. Maybe I'll do the same thing if I get a good enough shot. Alright, so we're battling Perrin. Alright, let's do this. I'm challenged by Perrin the photographer. Alright, let's go. Who does she. She's gonna use her. Oh, she actually has multiple. Alright, knocked out first. I'm gonna be using my Pokemon. Uh. Alright, give me a nice heroic expression, would you? I'll take a real good shot if you do. Okay, bet. Uh, oh, she, okay, she only has two. Uh, I could probably one-shot this thing. Uh, or actually, yeah, let's use, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna switch. Jolteon, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be sending Jolteon out. Alright, what is she gonna do? Ooh, Hypnosis, but it's gonna miss. Oh, well, we dodged it. Alright, so let's use Electro Ball, and it'll probably one-shot this thing. Boom. Oh yeah, he's out of here. Wait, I can't even see what level it was. Shoot, I didn't see. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna one-shot everything. Nice moves, kiddo. Let's see you're not distracted by the camera. Nope. Alright, so he is out of here. And next, she's probably gonna be sending that little Pokemon behind her. Or not. Le 
Yeah, she's definitely related to Adaman, bro. She's using a Leafeon. All right, we're switching. All right, bringing out Violet for this one. All right, let's go. All right, so she's going to be sending out Leafeon. I'm bringing out Violet, a.k.a. Cerulege. How about a new challenge? A new challenger. This one won't be easy to beat. Okay, I highly doubt that, but we're going to see. Okay, so Leafeon... Wait, okay, it's, they're a level 70. All right, let's one-shot it with Bitter Blade. Let's go. I'm not even going to bother terrestrializing because that will just be overkill. Alright, yeah, he's out of here. She only has two Pokemon, so that was nice and easy. Alright, so now what? Okay, they're both gone. And with that, the battle is done. Now that's a keeper. Okay, cool. So she took pictures during the battle. Here's something, alright. I got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. Did you? I think you just might have what it takes to hold your own against the bl the Blood Moon Beast. The Blood Moon Beast? Yeah, that's a certain Ursaluna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. Okay. Have you ever heard of... What the Ursaluna? I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Where does they weren't all that uncommon a long, long time ago? See, Ursaluna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead. Resembling a full moon, but they say this one's mark is red. A red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. Interesting. This Ursaluna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called it the region Hisui. Yep, it's confirmed. Seems like it's crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at some point and made itself comfy. If the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find it and take a snapshot of it. And if we do... Kiddo. No, not kiddo. Partner. Alright, I bet we're partners. Let's tackle this together so we find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. Let's do it! I'm down. I knew you'd be up for it, and don't worry, I'll be sure to reward your hard work. Word has it, the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in an area northwest of Ani Mountain called the Timeless Woods. Sorry, I, say, I think I said Northwest, Northeast. I'll head that way now and wait for you there. Oh, come on now, Growl. Oh, so we're actually gonna look for this thing. All right, bet I'm down. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're heading to the Timeless Woods. I, I think I could just fly there, so. Let's head Northeast. Where are we headed? Okay, so we're going over here, all right? So I'm gonna fly over here and I'll see you guys when we make it, all right? So this is interesting guys, I didn't expect this to turn into like a whole like side mission or whatever, but you know what, I am very happy with it and I'm, you know, happy we're doing this right now. Did not expect all this to happen, I just expected like for her to like ask me for a battle and then just, I guess you could take pictures with her or something, I don't know. But we're doing a mission, alright, I'm down for it, let's keep going. Okay, so we're almost there, I'm gonna jump down here, and is that, oh yeah, uh, that is literally her right there. So we got a Poliwhirl. Good. I just I literally just evolved one of those to meet you. Anyways, good. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now give me cute. Um I d I don't know. I, I mean I don't really want to distract her. Uh, you know I'm calling out to her. Screw it. Fair enough, I'm right here, behind you. Oh, she doesn't even hear me. Growlith does. Row wow wan. Oh Poliwhirl's done, bro. I mean sorry. Oh my gosh. I was calling it- Yeah, no, it is Poliwhirl. What am I saying? Oh, hey, partner. You made it. He just left. I can't help myself when I see adorable Pokemon like that. I just had to snap a couple shots. Anyway, it's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. Holy sh**. That's actually kind of creepy. Damn. In fact, I've heard that all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them. It's gotta be. Oop, got some rustling. Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? I don't think so. Yeah, we got a bug. Oh, jeez, what the? Yeah! What just happened? What the? Ow, ow, ow. Damn, what the hell just happened? Um... Growl wow. Um, better lend a hand or better protect. Okay, uh, I think he's fine. We're gonna lend a hand though. What the hell happened to Perrin? 
Key, key, key. I get, all right, we're about to just destroy this thing real quick. Okay, let's do this. Uh, are we battling with Rowlet? Okay, no, it's just us. Key, key, shot, bro. How dare you? Let's, let's take care of this thing. Is Perrin okay? Can we see her in the background? Bro, she's just on the floor. All right, well, let's get rid of this thing with acrobatics. Boom. All right, there we go. We'll get one-shotted. All right, so that was that. Ow, that really surprised me. Bro, she just got a body or something. But we took care of it. My camera's okay, though. Thanks, partner. No problem. Bow wow. And thanks to you, too, of course. I feel a bit bad for that area, Dose. It probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet it only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent. That'll let the Pokemon know we're here and help and help them get used to us. Alright, bet. We're camping with Perrin? I am down. Let's do it. Alright, so now what? Uh, talk to her. Okay, bet. She may be old, but she's still a fine 10, eh? It's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped myself to it. Say hello to our new base of operations for our survey of the Blood Moon Beast. Wow, wow. Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more wary than, or than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there have been so few sightings, or it's so they say. That means we're going to need to do some slow and steady groundwork if you want to find it. So, partner, what I'm going to need your help with the most is pho photographing Pokemon. Or take What is this, Pokemon Snap? I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. I'm looking for lots of pictures of, of a good variety of Pokemon. Afterward, I'll, regis I'll register your photo data into my handy Pokemon searcher. Over time, that'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that lived around here. Clearing all that noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. Brilliant. Imagine just saying I don't get it after all of that. Whoa, you actually st understood all that? Kind of. I was just rattling off what the manual said. I picked this thing up at a thrift shop. I don't even really understand how this is supposed to work. My preliminary survey made me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. We can split the load, so how about you try and snap uh, photos of 10 species of Pokemon for me? How about it, partner? If we tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. Oh, and we're looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice and big in the frame. You want to sneak up on foot to get close to them. No riding on big, noisy Pokemon. All right, bet. Think you're ready? Just say the word. Once you're good, we can set up in the tent and wait for a foggy night. Okay, I'm down for it. Okay, so survey the forest Pokemon. Okay, let's do it. Ready to go. Photograph some Pokemon and survey the forest for me. Reporting for survey duty. Then let's hang in the tent until the weather gets nice and foggy. Okay. Looks like this is about as good as it's going to get. All right, partner. Get out there and survey. All right. So we're going to be taking some pictures of Pokemon like it's Pokemon Snap. So this is how we open the camera, and then we just press A to take a picture. All right, bet. Get those photos. So you gotta find ten different species of Pokemon. All right, let's do it. Where y'all at? Oh, I think I see somebody. I do. Look. Okay, but we need like a good picture. Oh shoot, he sees me. He's gonna run away. Oh shoot, what the? He just disappeared. Okay. Okay, look, over there, I see some... That's, oh, that's Perrin, oh my gosh. There he is again. Okay, we're gonna get him this time. Hold up. How close should I get? I don't want to get too close. Look at that, that's a perfect spot. It's hard to get a good shot. Oh. Is that a good shot? Let me get a bit closer. Hold up. How about like right here? I'll oh, shoot. Right here. This is perfect. Took a new photo? Let me see. That's the limitation Pokemon. That's the imitation Pokemon, Sudowoodo. 
It's real easy to make to mistake it for a tree in this fog. This is great. I knew you were, I knew you were the right person for the job. Well, keep up the good work. I've got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. All right, but let's keep going. Nine more. I see. Is that a, what Litwick? I think your name is. I might be completely wrong on that, actually. Okay, let's take the picture. Hold up. Boom. Is that good enough? It is Litwick. All right, let's go. There's two. Eight more. I see a... What is her name again? Dusk something? I don't remember. Hold on, let's get him before. What the? What? Yo, hold on. Nope, that's not good enough. Unless she actually... Yep, nope, she doesn't get it. We have to try again. Hold on, hold on. I need to catch him. Let me cut him off or something. Okay, hold on. Don't let him see. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. No, no, no. Get him. Shoot. Wait, no, we got that. We got that. We got that, right? What? Are you blind, Perrin? Oh my gosh. Maybe she needs to see its face or something. I literally had him in the frame. Oh my gosh. Geo dude. Hold up. That's good. Right there. Hold on. You got that, right? You can see? Yes, we got Geo dude. Alright, let's go. Seven more. It's actually quite fun. I'm enjoying this. Let's keep going. Seven more. Oh, there he is again. Again? Is that the same? It is. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna get it this time. We're gonna get it this time. Get back here, bro. Stop running away. Oh, jeez. Okay, get ready. Wait, wait. Yeah. No, he turned around. Oh, my goodness. Why is this guy so annoying to get? Shoot. Oh, my gosh. Again. Third time's a charm, guys. Let's go. Don't let him see you. Do not let him see you, please. Okay, here we go. No! Oh my goodness, I am so bad at this. Maybe I should make him run into me. Seems like a better way to do it. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. This might be my shot. Boom! We got that, we got that! Yes, we got Duskull. We finally got it. It took like four attempts. We're done. Let's go. Six more Pokemon. Oh, Hatina. I, th I see Hatina. Let's go. I was about to say, I was not finding anybody for a good while there. Am I close enough? Can you see that? No, probably not. Oh, never mind. We got Hatina. Let's go. Bro, that took like, like two minutes. Like I was not finding any new Pokemon. I'm finding the same ones. All right. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five more. Oh, another. Oh, geez. Wait, watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't let it see you. Don't let it see you. Watch out. Damn, stop coming right. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Yeah. Give me that. I got it, right? Yes, we got Volbeat. All right, four more. Let's go. That was nice. Is that a new one? Wait. Hold on. Who's that? It is new. Give me this. Boom. I even know your name. Illumice? Illumice? Illum I don't even know how to say that, but we got it. Nice one. Alright. Three more. Oh, look up there. Oh my gosh. Give me this. Let's go. We got C dot. Alright, two more. Okay, there has to be some in the water, bro. There has to be. Um. Oh, right there. We got some low toad. We got some low toad. Get all three in there. Let's go. All right, guys. Just one more Pokemon. Let's do this. Who's that over there? You guys see that? You guys see that? I see it. I see that. You guys see that too? We're going to get it. Oh, shoot, hold on. Oh, jeez. Right over there. That is definitely a Pokemon. We got Tynamo. There we go. And with that, we com you completed your survey. Well done, partner. Let's go. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. But we completed it. Now what's next? All right.
okay, so if we just compile the photos we both took, it looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. We did it. We really pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Oh, well, no problem. Growa. Now we just send all our data to the Pokemon searcher and... Wait, I guess it's supposed to take a little bit for all the data to be uh, processed or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all real good, partner. You got an eye for this. Thank you. So, Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking those photos? Bro, I was not thinking about anything. <laughs> Capturing the Pokemon as they were showing up. The... I wasn't really thinking about anything, to be honest with you. You weren't thinking about anything, huh? Yeah, I was just kind of running around. I guess you were just capturing the world around you with the natural instinct instincts of a born artist. Sure. I, uh, I'm actually in a bit of a slump myself. What's wrong? Even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like, when nothing seems to go right for you? You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was actually a lot as a photography prodigy. Everyone loved my photos, absolutely everyone. But in these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark, and my photos show it. They lack heart. The awards have all dried up, the accolades too. And the longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it, it is I even want to capture with my photos. Damn, bro. It's kind of deep right now. That's when I heard the stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I left for Kitakami as fast as I could. I thought that if I, can get just, if I could just get a photo of an outstanding Pokemon like that, then maybe, just maybe, something inside of me would change. It'll be okay. <laughs> you could just say that's rough. I'm done, bro. Thanks, partner, and sorry, I didn't mean to bring the whole mood down with my problems. Nah, no worries. Dingly dee dee doo. Okay, I guess we're done. Well, I guess the machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle. I'm pretty sure that's the same one my dryer plays when it's done with the load. Okay, that's funny. Ha, too funny. Who decided to use that? Can you just uh, give anything a jingle now? Bro, I love this character. Anyways, if we filter out all of our data, it looks like there's still one hint out there in the foggy woods. That's gotta be the Blood Moon Beast. We finally found it. Heh, <laughs> this is it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off some of that old tension. I think I'm ready to go meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? You ready? Yes. I am ready. Finally. Yes, then we're off. Let's do this. Okay, what's going on? It's finally time for me to capture the Blood Moon Beast on film, that is. If things start to look dicey, I'll, I'll be counting on you to handle the, the battling partner. Oh, so we're going to be battling it, too. While she tries to take the pictures. Okay, you too, of course, Growlithe. Now then, let's get going. Alright, here we go. That hit we got on the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. Okay. It's awfully quiet let's stay alert don't let your guard down let's stay alert got it it's big stomps are those footsteps whatever whatever's making them must be huge some rustling oh my gosh and there he is we got the blood moon beast bro this bro is huge it's got a red moon on its forehead. It's the Blood Moon Beast. It's it's real. We actually found it. What? Girl, what? R right, my camera. It's gonna run away, isn't it? Now you just be a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo. How are you guys so like just you're just casually standing there in front of this big ass thing? What? I guess she got the picture. S sorry, the auto flash just. Oh jeez, we're gonna have to battle it. Growlithe, you ready? Whoa. Sounds like that's a no- Oh, he, he did say no! Alright, I'm ready. I've got it covered. Sorry, and thanks. You got this. Yes, sir, we do. Alright, she's gonna go off to the side. Oh! 
That's the legend, the, the legend's Arceus music. Yo, this is sick. Oh my gosh. All right, we're we're gonna have to take care of this thing. Yeah, it's yo, it's the same music. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what type this thing is. Um, let's go with Flower Trick. Let's see how that does. Parents just over there taking some photos. Oh, it's super effective. Okay, I may as well terrestrialize then. This is great. I'm right up close to the action. Keep it going while I snap some shots. All right, bet. Calm mind. He's gonna boost up his power. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'm gonna terrestrialize so I can get the job done quicker. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, this seems to be pretty easy. With like, we, we did a, a decent amount of damage when we weren't terrestrialized. This should do a good chunk. Like two more hits should probably be able to take it down. Okay, here we go, another flower trick. It should do a lot of damage. It won't finish it off, though. Let's see. God, the lag is crazy. Alright, so he has one more hit, and this thing should be finished. Ooh, that's a new expression. This is wonderful. There's so much good stuff to capture. Blood Moon. Whoa, hold on. Oh my... That hurt. But you know what? It's fine. Let's finish this thing off. Oh my gosh. That did a lot more damage than I expected. Alright, whoa, the lag is insane, bro. This game is really half-baked. But, we take care of it. The Blood Moon Beast has been defeated! What the? Oh, no, it's gonna be two phases, isn't there? Isn't there? The Blood Moon Beast is weak, now's your chance. Oh, we're gonna catch it, what the heck? Alright, bet. Hey, yo, normal Pokeball, let's go. It's automatic. It sure is. There we go. Ursa Luna was caught. Alright, there we go. Get right to the box and let's get back to the story. Oh, there, that's where he goes. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, Parrot, we did it. You okay, partner? Yeah, I'm chilling. I didn't seriously think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Growl wow. Growlith. You got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. To be fair, I... N I was gonna say, I know that thing is not defeating the Blood Moon Beast in a battle. Let's be real. Ha. But my heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the, bu the Blood Moon Beast. Let me see them pictures, though. I bet you want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover, though, huh, partner? Yeah, he got pretty hitty, uh, he got hit pretty hard. Let's head back to camp for now. Yep. Okay, we're back. Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad, like the end of uh, the end of an adventure. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and, and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get these photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is lost, so I'm not wasting any more time. Let's meet again in Missouri. I call it Missouri, guys, alright? Growling. All right, let's go back to Missouri Town. All right, so we still got some more things to do with Perrin. All right, let's see what she has to say. What's up? I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Show me. Oh, well, fact is that once I get them all printed out, I can see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or out of focus. Are you serious? They really aren't good enough to show you anyone, not even you, partner. That's kind of wild. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head worrying about the, fr uh, the framing or what judges might say. Always thinking about what I ought to capture. 
but just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right, your name. I never asked your, you by your name, partner. I know that's awful of me, after all you did to help me, but mind teaching me your, your name? It's, it's, you could just call me Juliana. Juliana, a perfect name for a gusty kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Juliana. The name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward? What is it? What is it? You've earned yourself a real choice reward for all the help you've been. Okay, we got a choice scarf. Cool. Oh my gosh, I could boost my speed. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you'll do a better job of raising it good and strong. Oh, okay, bet. Raise it to be real strong, okay? Say and no more. I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, I guess, so I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is- No, chill, stay here. What the heck? Don't leave. But you know, Growlithe like th these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. We'll definitely meet again, I'll raise- No, we'll meet again for sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. So bye for now, Juliana. Until next time. Wait, is she actually gonna leave? What the heck? Bow wow. No, come back. Well, I think that has been it for, I guess, what you could call the parent side mission. That was actually pretty enjoyable. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.